I have a brief time, as we all do, to tell you my story. I had married at 19, uh, 17 and had my daughter when I was 19, and after six years found myself in a divorce. I recycled and went into New York City and became engaged uh, to a gentleman who had four children. I had one. We were going to get married, and I became pregnant. God says there's a reason to wait. Uh, I was excited. I went down to tell him about it. I even had the doctor write on a piece of paper, Jen is expecting in the spring. I put the paper on his desk, and when he looked up, I didn't see a, uh, an expression of joy. I saw this expression I had never seen before, and he said, you're not going to have that. You're going to have an abortion. Abortion was legal then, had just become legal. I did not have my faith in Jesus Christ till I was 38 years old. I had no support system. The truth was not evident. There, was, there were no ultrasound mach machines and tests where you can see the humanity of your baby. And of course, the theme was you're just carrying a blob of tissue, a cluster of cells, and if it's inconvenient right now, you can have a baby later. I don't blame him, and men are not always the culprit. But about 80% of gals who have abortions are coerced and pressured in some sense, and that's what happened to me, and I folded. And I hated myself profoundly. I had nine miscarriages after that because of my abortion, trying to have the three children I had, and without having my faith, I didn't realize that I thought I was being punished for that heinous act I allowed in my life. That is not the God we serve. He does not punish us. He has hope and healing and wholeness in Jesus Christ. So anyone, no matter what you've done or where you have been, I came to my faith, as I said, at 38 years old, but I didn't receive the grace of God about my abortion until I wrote my autobiography, Surviving Myself. Years later, I realized that I was holding on to that shame and guilt because I thought what I had done was too big for what Jesus Christ had done on the cross, which is a lie and it's pride. Please, the grace and healing is there for you, for your friends, for the families who are victims of abortion. Be bold, the truth does set you free. We are here to let this be known. So be silent no more. I will step, all the, the stories you're gonna hear are amazing, but remember that there is wholeness and healing and the truth of abortion, God will not be defeated in the life issue. He raised his son from the dead. He has our children in heaven according to his word. There's reconciliation and wholeness and healing. God bless you all and be bold about life.